Hey everyone, I'm Kelly. I call myself Blue Gray Gal. Thanks for following me. I have already done a bunch of videos on skincare and foundation and eyeshadow, so if you haven't seen those, you can go back. But right now, I'm going to do eyebrows. Uh, you can follow me here if you hit subscribe or hit the little like button and hopefully you'll see more videos from me. One thing I didn't show you earlier is that I do contour my nose a little bit. I take one of these tiny, tiny, tiny little beauty blender things and I tap it in um, a bronzing powder, just a little bit, and then I just do a little bit up the sides of my nose, just creates a tiny shadow, and then I take a little bit of a light color and I put a little bit at the end to give me a button nose. If my sisters are watching, they're totally thinking that's ridiculous. And they are also going, of course you do. Okay, and then I do a line up the bridge and up. And I do, sometimes I do like right here and right in here. Benefit, give me brow. Swear by it, it does a really, really nice job of thickening and filling out your brow. So if you don't have time for the rest, I recommend this. Let me just show you a really quick before and after. Just look how, what a difference just that made. And it took three, four seconds. Like massive difference. All right, now um, I fill in with a little bit of color. I love the Anastasia. This is taupe and I have an Anastasia brush that has the angled brush on the side and the spoolie. I use the dark color to fill in where my brow needs a little bit more to be even and straight. I especially use it at the base. Don't worry too much about it looking blended in. We're gonna brush it through. You know what I love is once my mother-in-law came to my house and she sat down and she was like, okay, I need you to look, show me your makeup because you look like you don't wear any. And then I showed her me without makeup on and she's like, oh. And I showed her all the steps I did to look like I wasn't wearing makeup and I think I scared her. <laughs> okay, and then I take the light color and I just sort of go in a little bit. I don't do this too much because I'm fair. I love this, like a concealer stick. And what I like to do is go underneath the bottom arch and help define it. It just makes sure that everything stays and it cleans up any lines and I really, really like it. Yeah, I need a plug right here, okay. If you guys think they're too thick or too small, please let me know, I'm curious what you think. Okay, I forgot to put on blush. I swear by the orgasm color and the desire color. This is a hot, like kind of like a bright pink. I only like kind of like put it in the little circles of my cheekies. I'm gonna take my little blue beauty blender just to kind of tap it in. All right, lipstick to finish it off. I love lipstick. I love lip gloss. One day I'm gonna do a video just showing you different lips that I use because I'm obsessed. Um, right now I'm gonna use the MAC Hip and Happy. It's a cute little pink one. Okay, for every day, you could do this and throw on um, some lip gloss. Oh, you guys, this one's one of the best. There's, um. The MAC Apple, what's it called? I'll link it below. And this one's called Cultured. Um, both of those are amazing lip gloss neutrals. I probably, I recommend you get them. So if I was ready to go, I would just put this on and call it a day, but I want a little bit more boom. Because I want more boom, I'm using um, MAC Nouveau, which is this, can you see it? Beautiful pink. It's not for everybody, but I like pinks. A little bit of this on top. We're ready to go. What do you guys think? Thanks for following me. I plan on doing a lot of product reviews. Um, I do home, I do beauty, I do lifestyle, I do a lot of different things. So click subscribe or hit like. Um, and you can follow me at Blue Gray Gal or on my website, bluegraygal.com. I'm Kelly. Have a great day.